knee over and don't, but don't hold and you can switch okay. so you're like this if you need to you know with your left knee over the neck yeah. and then that way you have your weight because gotcha. you're protecting her from getting kicked gotcha. he's completely out but sometimes they'll you never know yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Alcohol, yep. uh, this is probably the perfect time to do this because of the heat and, mm -hmm, and, no, flies. and no flies. Yep. It is. Now, if we would have had to do it tomorrow, I told you no because it's like 13 degrees <laughs> tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> out, of, out of what time, town are you coming uh, Hayesville. Out? Hayesville, in okay. North Carolina. Okay, that's yeah. not too far. Yep. I was practicing in uh, Blue Ridge McKaysville area. Yeah. Um, but uh, I went and opened my own practice. So. Oh, nice, yeah. And you'll always make sure to breathe in, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and if you have any doubts, I'll get you my stethoscope. You can listen. What is the worst animal, livestock animal, to work on? I mean, it just depends. I think cows are hard just simply for the fact that, like, around here, people don't have the appropriate setup, no shoot or, or anything to squeeze them. And so I'm fetching cows and trying to, like, not get killed. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I also don't know as much about cows and so it takes me some research sometimes or contacting my mentors because I'm still pretty young but um, I usually just figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had dicks or cattle. Okay, let me uh, do some a couple of alcohols. Let me light a cane block. And so she's scrubbing to keep it mostly clean. That's why I try to try to keep it as clean as I can. Um, and then this will be lidocaine, so it numbs the area. <laughs> That's why Chris leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then scrub it really good again. Make sure you tap it and you do a lot of alcohol. You can just do it one or two more times. Okay. You're right about this scrub thing. It's a lot better than the old one. Yep. Is it going to change his personality a lot? Sorry? Is it going to change his personality a lot? You know, it's hard to know. How old is he? Six. Uh, and so there's a theory that it won't just simply because he's been, it's been a little while and it should have been done probably when he was younger, mm -hmm. if it was going to be done. So you might not see changes, but maybe, I'm not sure. You'll just have to let me know. Yeah. Every animal's different, so. Yeah. Now the reason why we're doing it is to get him a friend. Yeah, I think that'll be good for him. What, what do you suggest, a gelding or a, a Jenny? I mean, he's a boy. He probably, wants, he probably would like a girl better, but I don't know. <laughs> Some boys yeah. would like boys. <laughs> the, the thing is, with the, the, because we're going to adopt or rescue another donkey. Yeah. Um, and all the Jennies are pregnant. Every oh. time. Oh. They're always pregnant. You want a little baby? <laughs> yeah, always. All right, alcohol to turn out of it. Pick up a little bit and pull towards. Try to wrap this. Okay, here, here you go. Good. You can go throw that away and put those away and then come back. Oh my god, because you're gonna <laughs> do the drill probably. Really? Or at least help clamp. Look, you're feeling it. Just a little. I didn't numb the skin area, but as soon as I get this off, hopefully you won't feel much. Good. That's big enough. Yeah, I brought him over already. Thank you. 
pull that closer to me? You can. Ah, left handed fobs. Scissors never want to work. Oh, these just suck. And then we just try to strip the fat enough to pull this out of here. And donkeys by nature bleed a lot, so um, we'll have to keep an eye on that afterwards. But uh, hopefully we, knock on wood, won't have any issues. But we just strip all this fat down. Really gotta break it up sometimes. Go change your gloves and come back here. When I was first learning, my mentor was like, don't be a weenie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm trying. Because yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, that's no joke. Yeah. Especially when they're this old. Yep. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> you said my testicles. <laughs> Are you using the gauze to push it again with lip, right? Yeah, because I can't tear this fat without them. It's too slippery. Because we want to remove as much as we can so that the ligation is tight. And this is what bleeds most of the time, this fat, just from tearing, but it will be okay. It's like a ton still. He's older. Yeah. <laughs> well, they told me six, but he might be older. Yeah. Well, six is old for castration. I mean, usually they're doing them six months a year or whatever, unless they're used for breeding or that sort of thing. I'm gonna have to cut that probably. On sticking out of his incision later. Okay, that should be good. So grab the drill. Actually, yeah, I might be doing that part because I'm gonna have to have you push this fat back. Um, so give me the drill, you get on behind him. See the sack there? Just push it backwards. Yep, with your fingers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, you pull that leg so I can do this part. Got it enough? Yeah, that's fine. If you can do that with one hand and then hold this with the other. Okay, now let go and hold, just hold the skin. You can use both hands now. Really give it a good push. That's I can't really see it very well, so I'm not sure. You're I'm, fine, you don't okay. need to see. I need to see. Okay. <laughs> That's this. Up there more, yep. Exactly. That's my hand. <laughs> can't hurt that guy, can it? No. Just in case. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that you're rubbing against my hand. <laughs> you feeling good? Mm. Sorry, buddy. And so the twisting motion is supposed to do, uh, supposed to allow it to, you know, um, 
clot better and really twist that so all those vessels are secure wow. better than suturing and clamping and all sorts of stuff and he's just got a lot of skin bleeding because again he's older and that's all normal okay and we'll try to open this side up the best we can kicks it won't hurt that bad I'm close okay. <laughs> in the event that it does go my way mm. I'm sorry I'm hurrying Once I get past all the sub Q, this is the stuff that's not blocked. I just blocked the testicle. Um, yeah, I just need to pull that way a little bit and don't lean on him unless you need to. Okay. He's pulling really against me. It's really this. Okay. I just got to get my leg, leg around it. Oh, you'll be fine, buddy. Mm. I know it stinks, but for the best. <laughs> it's like, I don't believe you. Go get me a blade, will you? There's one on the passenger side. On the ground, in with the other surgery stuff. Yeah, I might have to top them off. Well, if I'm hoping if once I get it exteriorized, it'll calm down. Right. I'm just trying to get it. I gave you a ton of lidocaine, and you're little. That's what I give horses. Sorry, you have so much fat. It's hard to deal with it all. Mm -hmm. You say, Kayla, I'm gonna kick you. That boy, if I could. <laughs> Draw me up one uh, xylazine. Well, actually, draw me up. Draw me up like two of. Ketamine, but make sure it's the right one. Here, okay, buddy. God, he's got so much fat. I can't work on it until you stop. And we overdosed him. Um, what do you want him in his jug? Yeah, but it's not always up right now. Oh, yeah, you'll need a pink needle. If you'll come take my place, 